In this lecture, we will talk about parabolas. Uh, you see, this is a parabola, and we have seen this before in quadratic function. And here is a new definition uh, for parabolas. A parabola is the set of all points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point F and a fixed line L. This line is fixed. Okay. So this fixed point is called focus. And this fixed line is called directrix. Okay, that line in the plane. So you see this curve, this focal point or focus, and this directrix, they are all on the same plane, uh, on the same plane. Uh, the parabola has a very nice uh, physical uh, property is that when the light uh, when light goes through perpendicular uh, to the directrix and then if this is the mirror or a dish then you know the light hit on the surface and then it reflects to the focus okay yeah, the lights may go, or the signal may go, hit on the dishes, and it reflects on the focus. Then that's why we call this one is a focus, or focal point. Okay. Of course, the light has to be perpendicular to the directories. Okay. Then it will reflect to the focus. And then, you know, uh, equidistant in the definition, a parabola is the set of all points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point F and a fixed line directories. You can see this point is equal, uh, equidistant from the focal point and the directories. The distance between a point and a line, it has to be a vertical point, a uh, vertical distance, uh, means perpendicular to the directories. We don't call between this point and this point on the directories is a distant. Now uh, we call the distance between a point and a line is the shortest one, which is perpendicular to the directories. Okay. So this point apparently is uh, equidistant from the focal point and the line. And so is this point, which is equidistant from the focal point, the given point, and the line. The special point is this point, right in the middle, between the focus and the, the directories. Okay? Yeah. This point is very special. Yeah. In the middle uh, between the focus, the given point, and the given line directories. Okay. So this point we call vertex. Uh, that's the definition. Uh, how are we going to find out the equation? Uh, in order to study that, we may put this vertex, uh, or the whole thing in the xy coordinate plane, and we want to put this vertex on the origin, and that's the following page, okay, right here, see, right here, okay, yeah, we move this xy coordinate plane to here, okay, move the uh, vertex the origin, then you know uh, from the vertex to the focus, 
the distance between those two equals between the vertex and the directories. Okay. Okay. Then let me take this one out. I'll talk about the equation. How does the equation look like? Uh, because the set of all the points, if you collect it, is going to be this line. Okay, all the points on the, the curve is actually will form uh, the parabola. And why is that? Now, since the vertex is in the middle between the fulcrums and the directories, uh, we may assume that uh, if here is the uh, coordinate for fulcrums 0p, because if it's on the y-axis, then x will be 0. Okay, And p, we don't know this p. Let's assume this distance uh, between vertex and vertex is p. Okay, and then of course, since this point between vertex uh, and vertex, the distance equals this one, then the equation of the directories then can be written as y equals negative p. Uh, p is positive down here, then. Uh, horizontal line is just y equals negative p, okay? Because y is a constant, x can choose any values. You see down here, looks like one, two, three, right? Yeah, x looks like it three. Down here is x look like one. Down here is x look like ah uh, here looks like two, and here looks like one. But you know why it's not changed. It's all the time equals negative p. Okay. Now we assume uh, a x y this point is on the uh, parabola. Then this point a is equidistant from vertices and the, the directories. And instead of find out the distance, here let's say the distance squared uh, uh, between A and F, between A and F, is this one. Is x minus 0, yeah, because we assume the coordinate for x, uh, for point A, and the first coordinate is x, and here the first coordinate is 0. So x minus 0 squared plus y minus p, y minus p uh, squared. Yeah. That's the uh, distance formula. And then you square it. Okay. You square it. Because we don't like square root. Uh, if you choose the square root, that will be the distance. Okay. Yeah, this is by distance formula. All right. Uh, that's between A and the focus. Between A and this line, how to calculate the distance? You know, from here to here is Y coordinate for A. From here to here is P. Huh? Is P. Okay. Again, we assume P was positive, and then Y, in this case, Y plus P. You see, this part is P. Okay, this part is P. So then, you know, the distance is Y plus P between point A and directories. The distance between A and the directories is calculated in this way. And then we need to square it. We calculate the distance squared. Now, by the definition, uh, those two distance, two line segments are equal because A is equidistant from focus and the directories. So we then assume those two are equal. This one equals this one. Okay. Now. Uh, look, 
down here is that y plus b y plus b squared uh, you want to FOIL it out that's y plus p y plus p okay y times y is y squared y times p is p y p times y is p y p times p is p squared so that's y squared plus 2 p y plus p squared okay and here is minus y minus p squared and here is plus so the only difference when you FOIL this one out is here was here was positive and if you FOIL this one out here will be negative 2 p y the rest of them are the same okay of course the distance is squared you have a x minus 0 squared is just x squared so by definition this one together equals this one uh. okay so let's put it down here so we then have x squared plus y squared minus 2py plus p squared equals uh, this one y squared plus 2py plus p squared that's this one from here okay yeah because this one equals this one uh, equidistant by definition so then if you square both they are still equal now you know we have a y squared here on the right also on the left we have a p squared here on the left so is on the right okay then you know both sides if you plus 2py of course if you minus y squared right here and then they cancel each other so y squared will disappear so is the case for p squared if you minus p squared on this side you have to minus p squared on this side so those two will disappear cancel each other and y will, will cancel each other y squared y squared will cancel each other okay so the one I marked in red pen uh, in red pen uh, disappeared so the only thing left over is x squared minus 2py on the left right hand side is 2py and then you come up with plus 2py on both sides you cancel that and then you then have a 2py plus 2py which is 4py on the right okay on the left we only have x squared left so x squared equals 4py uh, we like to use x to express y so both sides divided by 4p then you can cancel 4p with 4p so then y then equals 1 over 4p times x squared and this is the hmm, standard equation for the parabola.